Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. It's your girl, Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So you guys, um, if you're new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I hope um, that you hit the subscribe button and join me here more often. Become a part of the fan boo. Um, but yeah, you guys. So I dropped a reading earlier today. Um, and it was real interesting, y'all. So if you have not watched that, um... I'm going to drop it in the eye if I can remember. Uh, make sure you watch that. Um, so in, in that reading, some new love came up. Um, and so I know that people are kind of interested in new love. Um, so I said I was going to break it up. Um, if people were interested, I got new love in the comments. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to um, see what's up with cancer and new love, new love for cancer. So um, if you have cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading could resonate um, with you. But keep in mind, y'all, it's general. It's real, 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 real general. So um, take what resonates, leave what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I am available. Um, check out the link in the description box below. Um, you know, but yeah, so I am going to hop right into it, y'all. I'm going to clarify new love with another uh, romance angel card, and then we're going to pull some tarot and see what's going on. So tell me, <clears throat> thank you, spirit. What does cancer need to know about new love? Clarify new love for cancer. This cancer needs to know about new love. Okay, cancer. So we got love yourself first that came out. Love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And cancer, I feel like um with this new love here, this kind of came out in the reading. I feel like you've been doing like you've gone through a period of healing here. We have forgiven and learning here at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like you've gone through a period of healing where, you know, you kind of confronted things that you've gone through, kind of put things in the past. You may have really um, recently got some closure that has kind of helped you. And, um, you know, now you're able to really, really, truly love who you are, Cancer. And that makes you so attractive. It's like it's attracting this new love here. Um it's attracting this new love here to you. So, um, yeah, because it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, even more cancer. Um, and so, yeah, uh, it says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, yeah, I feel like you're letting, you're closing um, off some cycles, closing off some loose ends, tying up loose ends, and moving forward, letting things go, making room for the new to come in. Um, and this is really, really good, Cancer. Um, especially, you know, you're doing the work to heal because I feel like you're coming out of this, this energy, this Five of Cups energy where, you know, you may have been hurt in love, disappointed, distraught, you know, you may think that it's not coming here for you, but um, Cancer, I feel like... <laughs> Look, you are attracting it for sure here. Let's put some tear on the table, y'all. Tell me about a uh, new love for cancer. Tell me about y'all. <laughs> um, but look here, what popped over this six of wands. Um, I'm gonna talk about it because I had said this um earlier like this card to me it shows me it makes me feel like somebody's trying to shoot their shot at cancer and it's like they feel like you're um like you're out of reach or like you're you know like they like they really really want you they're really really reaching for you it's kind of like they'll by any means necessary here but let's see what comes out for cancer <clears throat> thank you spirit Tell me about new love here for Cancer. Oh, Cancer. So we got the sun that came out. We got the sun that came out. So Cancer, you could be dealing with the Leo here. Um, Leo Sage, uh, fire sign. But definitely, look, this new love, I feel like there's um, the sun will come out tomorrow. There may have been like a dark time, you know, that you were experiencing in love here. But this new love, I feel like it's coming to make you very happy. I'm also, for some of you, like I'm seeing that this connection may be like, um, like a forever connection. Like this person may, 
you know, you'll have um, like a family with here. Tell me about <laughs> new love for cancer. Y'all, look at here. Somebody, somebody is definitely reaching. And it's like they may have something that's holding them back here from getting to you in this present moment here. But somebody is definitely reaching for cancer, okay? <laughs> Tell me about new love here for cancer. Yeah, and I feel like, look, Cancer, so we got this, um, the tower that came out. I feel like this person is going to come in, come in and, um, you know, cause a tower moment here. And I feel like they come in unexpectedly. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, see, I feel like this is you, Cancer. I feel like this is what you've been doing, kind of focusing on you, doing what makes you feel good. And that's how you've been loving yourself first. And somebody has taken notice of it. Somebody has taken notice of it, and yeah, they're wanting to come. They're wanting to come around to cancer. <laughs> okay. So tell me about a uh, new love here for cancer. Tell me about new love here for cancer. What does cancer need to know about new love? Um, okay, y'all. So the, the Queen of Wands came out. Um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And look, I feel like <laughs> we got the chariot here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is definitely um, trying to come and move forward. But I feel like, honestly, this is you showing up here, Cancer. This Queen of Wands. like so, It's like you're just... You so dang on sexy and <laughs> you doing your thing and you know, you might even be in the gym. Some of you might be like trying to um, change something about, you know, your appearance or something. But look at how he looking at her. It's like, oh, yeah, I got to even though, you know, all this, I got all this going on back here. I got to come for it for um <laughs> this queen of wands and i feel like because um they see you like so effortlessly moving forward um this person like they want parts they want parts of cancer here tell me about the sun card here tell me about the sun card here for cancer y'all you know <laughs> That's funny um, that this card is in the reverse and it tried to fly out. Um, the Ten of Swords was in the reverse. So I definitely feel like, look, Cancer, you may have been closing out some things. Um, there may have, you may have just had an ending in love here. Um, but keep hope here. I see that with the um, with the star card here. Keep hope. It's like this sun is coming out. The sun will come out tomorrow. Okay, Cancer. <laughs> um, you know, it may have been like a painful ending that you were in too. For some of you... <clears throat> for some of you, you know, it could have been really, really painful. Like you could still be dealing with the effects, but you know, it's kind of like the more that you um, love yourself, the more that you put love into yourself here, the more that you heal and release the past, the closer this new love can come in. Tell me more about the sun here for cancer. Tell me about the sun. Y'all, this is ridiculous. What's going on? I know they kind of knew, but okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. <laughs> we gonna, we, I promise we're going to get it right. <clears throat> Thank you, spirit. Tell me about the sun here for cancer. Thank you. Ooh, so y'all, we got the Ace of Pentacles that came out. And this is a beautiful car. Um, we got the Ace of Pentacles that came out. So look, definitely a new beginning here. Um, and I feel like there's some this is something tangible here. Like this is um like a relationship here. Definitely new love coming in. And I feel like um, you know, you may be on the defense here, cancer. You might be on the defense of whoever this person come coming in because of the healing that you're doing. 
but it's kind of like you know um i definitely feel that you can trust this this is um success here but yeah somebody is studying you hard um could be a, a earth sign here with the king of pentacles coming out taurus virgo capricorn um, but I feel like somebody, somebody felt left out in the cold. Y'all, I know this is supposed to be new love, but, <laughs> um, yeah. You could definitely be having a new love situation with, with somebody that you've known before. Like, this feels like familiar energy. Somebody, but somebody felt left out in the cold with this five of pentacles here. Um. <clears throat> Tell me about the Queen of Wands here for Cancer. So yeah, the Six of Wands coming out, y'all. So that de definitely look, and it's somebody trying to shoot their shot at Cancer. Um, for some of you, you might meet this person like in the gym working out. I don't know, like I see, like y'all that that might be something that y'all have in common here. Um, because I'm seeing like a lot of activity here. Tell me about the tower here for Cancer. Clarify the tower here for Cancer. Oh, y'all. So, yeah, the lovers. So, y'all, this is, like, so on point with the reading from earlier. I definitely feel like this is a soulmate coming in. Coming in, y'all. Um, With the lovers coming out. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. Um, and so the Seven of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like, you know, there's some, um, you you all might be needing to exercise some patience here with this situation, kind of like let it play out here. But definitely, um, I, I feel like a soulmate comes in and takes you by storm here. Tell me about the Six of Wands here for Cancer, y'all. Hold on. These cards are like so sl slippery and slick. And then when they fall, it don't be just one card. It be 50 of them. <laughs> um, tell me about this six of wands here for cancer. What are we at? Tell me about the six of wands here for Cancer. Yeah, so we got the Page of Swords, Cancer. We got the Page of Swords that came out. So look, somebody got their eye on you, boo. Um, somebody is, look, somebody, I feel like they might be taking their sweet time coming in here. It might be a time thing here. <clears throat> but they are definitely here, um, look, planning on, planning on shooting that shot, Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna clarify. I'm gonna clarify the sun with um this normal deck. Clarify the sun here for a cancer. Okay. Clarify the sun for a cancer. Give me just one card, please. Thank you. Y'all, so look, the sun card is trying to come out again. So it says triumph, achieve, realize, joy, luck, illuminate, heat. So, and look, we have heart here at the bottom of the deck. It says any, all love, a new love, romance, passion, care. So definitely look, there's definitely a new, um, um, there's like a victory, a victory after a storm here that I feel like you've, uh, experience here in love cancer i feel like you know you might have your heart may have been taken advantage of before here there's a lot of things that you've had to go back and re relearn or unlearn and there's a lot of healing that you may still have to do here but it's like the more that you do um this work it's like the more <clears throat> your beauty radiates from the inside and just oozes out here cancer and you are attracting um a really really bright future with with a soulmate here, I'm seeing cancer. So, look, all I got to say is keep loving yourself, and somebody in, somebody else is gonna try to come in and want to love you um, just as much. Okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna pull a wisdom of the oracle card to close the reading, you guys. 
and read the relationship message. So we got between worlds. Interesting, between worlds. I'm feeling like, look, somebody might be caught up here. <laughs> between worlds, it's the number three card. And that's so funny because in the um, reading earlier, the one that I dropped earlier, you guys, I got the three, three, three. And it was like three soulmate came out three times. So look, I'm just saying. Um, let's read the message. The essential meanings of Between Worlds is transitions, um, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Mm, interesting. Temporary blindness, no man's land. So yeah, Cancer, for some of you, I feel like your new love is being held up because either this person is still caught up in something, um, tied up in something, or you might be needing to like clear out some energy here for this person to come in. But anyway, so the relationship message is, this is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever. So allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected um, back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. Um, I love that, you guys, because I definitely feel like this is kind of on point with the energy that came out in the um, reading that I posted earlier. Um, you know, you're having to heal here. You know, there's some things that you're having to do on your side. But also, um, you know, there's there's a layer of mystery to this situation, I feel like. And I feel like whoever this person that is coming in here, Cancer, um, is going to change your life forever. Like, your life is changing as it, this person is, um, I feel like, a catalyst in changing your life. You know, um, that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling for Cancers, closing out cycles and starting new ones. Um, and I feel like you're in between, you're kind of in that hangman energy where, you know, this may have not happened yet for you. Um, you know, there may be still some learning or healing that you're needing to do. You know, I'm going to tell you to put in the work here. Um, but I do see new love here for, um, cancer. So look, and we, um, it talks about, you know, this between worlds, this relationship coming to educate you and we have this forgiving and learning. So as you forgive, you can learn um, as this person comes in and teaches you cancer. So look, whoever this person is, I definitely feel like they might be a little older or wiser, but they may already have their eye on you. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave the reading right there, you guys. I really, really hope it resonated with someone Remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Talk to me in the comments, you guys. I love um, interacting with you there. Um, and remember to check me out over on my main tarot channel, Boss Lady B Tarot, where I cater to the cancer as well. Shh, just don't tell nobody. Until next time, you guys. Love ya.